we're gonna jump in on the move strong. All right, so this is Rachel. She's gonna be doing snap it, but throw it down, Aaron. Throw it down hard. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at the camera. You got a job to do. Snap it up, snap it up, snap it up. So she wants to finish really strong with the hips, but we're trying to get some, ex uh, 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 some increased acceleration on the way down. Yep, and then opposite of that, oh wait, we're gonna go for more. All right, Aaron, you're up. Big snap. Yep, throw it, Rach. Break her hands. There you go, nice. Nice, nice, nice. If you're interested in joining in on one of these, go to gridgym.com slash how to start and you can get out here for a move strong. But first we gotta do a program design session and first we gotta do a strategy session. So one of those two to get you started. But you definitely wanna sign up for those. This is move strong. So they're gonna go from those swings where they're yes. snapping down the bell real hard and then they're gonna come over here and they're gonna hit some inverted rows. Raise uh, good to your feet under a little bit. And then take your time on the way up and hold. Yep, and only bring your elbows to your torso and tilt your head, yeah. Shoulder first, then elbow. Shoulder first. Nice. If you're coming on here later, hit hashtag team replay. If you're coming on here right now, push hashtag team live. Let me know you're here. All right, snap it. Snap it back up. Forcefully, hard as you possibly can. You gotta keep, yeah, you just gotta keep your weight back. Yeah, just, uh, otherwise, because the, the weight's pulling you forward, so you got to keep your weight back a little bit, otherwise it gets a little crazy. All right, you got this. All right, you All ready? Right. None of this. Hold none of this? No, like, none of this. None of this. None of this? Oh, none of the, like, like forcing the weight down? All right. All right, Sophia, you're up. Yep. Yep, let her get started and then go for it. Yep, throw it down. Now snap it back up, break her hands. Not actually break her hands, because Sophia will catch it, but there you go. Big snap, big snap, big snap. That away, that away. So the reason we're doing that is just get a little increased acceleration on the way down to change the stimulus. Um, so they're, they're getting, uh, uh, moving the weight at a different speed. Because really, if you summed up string conditioning, it would be moving different weights at different speeds at different times of the year. Uh, and if you, if you continue to do that, then you continue to make progress. But if you keep doing the same thing year after year after year, month after month, week after week, yeah, I said that backwards, but then you, you don't make any progress. If you're interested in learning how to get started out here, go to gritman.com slash how to start. Sign up for an orientation there, and we'll have you out, and we'll show you kind of how this works and how it works for you because not everybody's doing those two exercises. Uh, there's three different types of exercises going on out here at the same time uh, so that we can individualize it for each person even in the group setting. So um, you, you want to make sure that if you're doing lifting that it's appropriate for you otherwise you get yourself hurt and that's the last thing you want to do. That's not help. So this is, uh, that's one of the move strongs. Before this they did split squats and they did uh, like a shoulder help, like a joint help type thing. But now they take a little rest. Waiting for everybody else to finish out. Yep, stay tight. Now stay big, stay big, keep your chest up. Chest up. There you go. Nice. So, so yeah, just, just really, you wanna keep your eye on the bell, but keep your chest up so that you don't fall through like that. And then if you, if you keep your heel grounded, but your big toe on the floor, That'll take care of all that. So you just, you want to, your heel is your grounding, but your, your big toe is still pushed on the floor. It's on me. I told you, you weren't gonna be in any of these. <laughs> now you're doing great. You just keep hammering. It's on me right now. Yeah, no, nah, you asked. I'm good. Hey, how was that? That was tough, but it was good. It was good work. It's tough but good. What? Isn't that like a, it's tough but it's good. It was Rach, great. what is that? <laughs> great. Fantastic. Amazing. Excellent. All right, cool. But seriously, get in here. We have fun. We have way too much fun than you, more than you should in a gym. More than you should. More than you should in a gym? Yeah. I was trying to explain it. That last person was asking me questions. I was, I was like, even when what? You have explosions on your yeah, it's true. Context. I did say that. Okay, context. so <laughs> out of context, that sounds pretty terrible. But what I said was, what I what I said was that you, when you're doing kettlebell swings, that yeah. you at the top you should feel like the, like an explosion in, um, out of your butt. 
And what I meant was that squeeze you, you, your butt. to Every squeeze time. your butt and to like have this huge explo <laughs> explosive movement and this power driven through your hips. And what it sounded like was diarrhea, but yeah. that's, that's not what I was saying. He was having a hard time. It was pretty funny. It's not <laughs> unlike me to put my foot in my mouth, my mouth and my foot. It got my head on the ball and my game in the head. It happens to all of us. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> wouldn't worry Thanks, about Aaron. it. Thanks, <laughs> Aaron. All right, let's hear what the next two are. I'll flip this around. All right, go for it, Tori. All right, so for this next one, you're going to step out the side, reach your butt back, get back into your hips. You're going to reach your hands forward. You're going to lift over your head. Inhale, exhale. Come back. And then come back all the way. So you're fighting the rotation, so don't let the band pull you back. And then when you reach up, make sure that your rib cage is going to come up. So you're fighting back extension. So you come up, stay right. Five reps for three seconds each, yeah. Yep. And the exercise is the push into the wall. Like, that's where the burn should happen. The other part is more of a motor control thing. Right, Tornado? Right. 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 Tortuga? That's a pretty good one. Tortellini? Wait, tub? <laughs> All right. You want to show them, Sophia? All right, let's see. Stepping out, overhead reach, exhale, drive back up. Nice. All right, that's move strong. Uh, that's uh, how many exercises did we do today? I think we did eight different exercises, uh, and then we, depending on the exercise, we had four different sets or three different sets. Uh, here, they're going through with that last exercise that you just saw. Uh, they're doing a lateral lunge and they're doing an anti-rotation and they're doing a bridging and they're doing a, a, a scapular elevation and a scapular upper, upward rotation uh, to get a lot of core, different kind of core activity and to get the shoulder health and to get the, the, the hip working because we really don't do a lot of stuff in the weight room that's much um, like the weight room is typically uh, it's called your sagittal plane. There's like just in the plane that you walk where you're just moving straight forward and you're not moving side to side. So, uh, but in life we end up moving side to side and doing a lot of different things. So we really want to work that lateral, uh, the, that frontal plane, that, that, those lateral lunges, those lateral movements so that we can get better at movement patterns um, because that's where our hips are going to have, have uh, the most benefit. Uh, not maybe the most benefit, but they're going to have a lot of benefit. We want to change up our movement patterns so that we're getting in all the planes. And then over here, what you just saw behind me with, the, uh, with that shoulder exercise, we're getting an isometric at the shoulder um, in that scapular plane, which is uh, like, for instance, Really, your, your shoulder, your rotator cuff doesn't do much stuff down here. It does a ton of stuff up in that scapular plane. So we want to move in that scapular plane quite a bit. And if you're interested in learning more about how I would treat, uh, work with your shoulder, uh, go to gridgym.com slash SS and get signed up there for a strategy session. Um, but uh, there's a lot of different stuff that we do joint health-wise out here so we can be pro proactive in preventing injuries that you might have in the future. Because if we can prevent the injury in the future, then you can train for us for, long, with us for longer, and then you can get better progress, and then you get better success, and you never get hurt, which is what you want training to do for you. Uh, what the, that's mainly the thing that, that everybody gets wrong. You know, if you look at statistics, 12% uh, of the United States has a gym membership. 8% of the United States ha, uh, doesn't have enough activity to actually benefit from that activity, but over 50% of the people who join a training gym this year will get an injury. So you want to be doing your due diligence, figuring out which is the best training gym for you so that you're per, being proactive and preventing injuries that you do get, but this is Move Strong. If you want to get started out here, go to gritchim.com slash how to start uh, and uh, get signed up there and we'll have you up for an orientation and see how we can work with you to help you with your fitness endeavors. But anyway, go to gritchim.com, how to start. Thanks guys.